if you have a video podcast or are looking to start one when it comes to recording, editing, and promoting each of your episodes, this is a lot of work. And for a lot of you, this is probably the reason why you haven't started yet because you're just not sure where to start and what to do. So today I'm going to share my favorite AI tools that I use to simplify my workflow and also help decrease the overwhelm that comes along with producing your own podcast. Before we get into the details, I do wanna thank Riverside who is the sponsor of this video. Uh, when it comes to producing a video podcast, there are some key components to keep in mind. The first one is to prepare and to write your script before you go to the next step, which is to record. Once it's recorded, you're going to edit. Then you're going to distribute your podcast out to Spotify, YouTube, wherever you're distributing your podcast. And then finally, you want to promote it. So you want to let people know that you do have a new episode out that they can tune into. Uh, this is a very overwhelming process if you do everything manually, but fortunately there are some AI tools out there that will help you. Uh, this first one is vidIQ. I use vidIQ for a number of reasons, but the main thing I use it for is to do keyword research. So because the video podcast or podcast environment is so saturated, it's really important to figure out what people want to listen to before you even you know, put a title on your episode or write your script. So what I do is I will do keyword research in vidIQ. This is probably familiar to some of you. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called SEO or search engine optimization. You want to find out you know, if people number one, even care about what it is that you're talking about, they're search, mean, meaning they're searching for it online, and number two, how competitive is it? So for instance, if I put in the keyword podcast, you're going to see that a lot of people search for the word podcast when they're doing uh, searches on YouTube or Google, um, but it's very competitive. So what you want to do is just use this tool to enter in additional keywords until you find something that is searchable the search volume is high and then also it's not very competitive. So one example might be how to podcast for beginners or something along those lines. Continue searching until you find the perfect combination. The next thing you want to do is use this title or this keyword as the theme of your episode and you're going to write out a script. Now, it doesn't mean you need to do this word for word, but if you uh, create a general outline for your episode, include any topics to cover or any questions you want to go over, it's going to help with the flow of uh, recording your episode. So I turn to ChatGPT to do this. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just give a general summary of whatever that podcast episode is going to be. And then I'm going to prompt ChatGPT to give me topics and or questions. The reason why I use ChatGPT is because it's tied to search engines. It's pulling data from search engines so it knows what people care about. Again, going back to that initial topic, you do want to talk about what people uh, are interested in so that the likelihood of them even tuning into and listening to your episode is going to be there in the first place. So by going into ChatGPT and specifically asking it to generate questions or topics for that episode, it'll give you a list. And then what you can do is just pull that information from ChatGPT. Now it's important. I don't just use this word for word. I mostly use ChatGPT to help me with um, ideation and putting that script together. And then once I have a general outline put together and I know what questions to ask or what topics to cover, then I'm ready to record. When it comes to recording video podcast episodes, I turn to Riverside to help out with this. Now I can either record directly in Riverside with uh, either one guest or multiple guests. I can also record myself. Or if I record externally, I can upload those files directly to Riverside, and this makes moving to the edit so much easier. There are a couple of tips that I use for recording an episode. The first one is you do wanna use headphones. It's gonna give you the highest quality video and audio file at the end of the day. So as you're entering the studio, make sure that your headphones are on and that you're just letting Riverside know that you are recording with headphones. Once you're in the tool, the AI functionality that I do recommend is to turn noise reduction on. This is going to automatically reduce any background noise that comes up like if a dog barks or if your next door neighbor is mowing their lawn, things like that. It's going to reduce any of that background noise. 
Once recording is over, now it's time to turn to the edit. Uh, there are a number of AI tools built into Riverside that is going to make this so easy. In order to do this, you're going to select create with AI and edit the episode, and then just let Riverside do its thing. Once this is complete, this gives me a nice base edit to work from. The next thing I'm going to do is turn to AI producer. There are a number of options in here available to you, and I recommend just experimenting them to see uh, what works best. You can set your pace so you can make the episode go faster or slower. You can smooth the speech, which is gonna take out any ums and ahs or any pauses in the episode. Magic Mute is gonna mute the audio for the person who's not speaking, and this is just going to further eliminate any background noise. And then finally, Magic Audio is the final step that I take. This is gonna completely optimize the audio on your episode. Even though you are recording a video podcast, this is a podcast, so in my opinion, your audio should still be as crisp and clean as possible for those who are just listening to the audio, and that's what Magic Audio does. It's gonna optimize the audio on your episode to make it sound as crisp and clean as possible. This next AI option just might be my favorite here in Riverside. Now, the initial edit that I did, it'll place two people side by side in the edit if you have you know, more than two people on the, on the episode. It's gonna place everybody side by side in that edit but this functionality is going to give you more of a multi-cam feel. If you head over to layout and select smart scenes, what Riverside is going to do is it's going to switch the camera angle depending on who's speaking. So if one person is speaking, that's the only person that will appear in the video. And if two people are speaking at the same time, then uh, Riverside will place those people side by side. So it's going to do this multi-cam edit for you. You can go in and fine tune all of the different angles this is another thing I really love about it. But this is a great way to elevate your edit if you wanna go beyond the side by side edit that we did do earlier in this video. And then finally, you can also add your specific branding and captions to your episode before you export it. All you do is head over and create captions. You can change the branding, the colors and the fonts and anything you wanna do to match whatever your branding looks like. And then once you have this done, you have a nicely edited episode that's ready to export and distribute. Now that your edit is finalized, you also want to think about promotion. So one way to promote your episode is to create vertical clips of your episode that you can share on social media to let people know that they can tune in to whatever the new episode is. Uh, luckily in Riverside, they do give you an AI option as well. It's called Magic Clips. So you go back into Riverside, select Magic Clips. It's going to generate these clips for you. Once the clips are generated, you can go into each of them. You can fine tune and make adjustments. You can also add captions. And just like before, you can also stylize those captions. And uh, once you have a handful of clips that you're satisfied with, you can export them and use them to promote your show. Creating vertical clips to share on social media isn't where promotion ends. Another couple of ways that I promote my show is to one, create a blog post on my website for each of the episodes, and two, I will also send a newsletter out or an email blast out to my email list. Now, when it comes to creating content for the blog post or the newsletter, well, just like before with creating a script, I do turn to AI for some help. Now, if we hop back into Riverside, Riverside does give you the ability to create a transcript of each of your episode. I use those as a guideline or a tool to create show notes. I'll also pull content from uh, the transcript to write my blog post and also to create my email blast or my newsletter. Not only are you able to create show notes here in Riverside, but it's also gonna give you keywords. It's gonna give you some highlighted options that were pulled from each of your episodes. You're gonna see chapter markers and so much more. Uh, this content is so helpful when it comes to creating all of the items that you need to promote each of your episodes. So these are the AI tools that I'm using right now to produce my video podcast. But if there's something I should know about, I wanna know about it, leave it in the description below. I wanna thank Riverside for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in trying that tool out, I'm also gonna place a link down in the description. If you use the coupon code Cree, you will enjoy 15% off the tool. 
And as always, thanks for tuning in. Uh, before you head out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or subscribe if you're interested in this type of content. And I will see you again in the next video.